Welcome to your daily sadhana. I'm Keisha, and really grateful that you choose to hit play on this recording. I have a lot of things with me, and as you know, sadhana is a spiritual practice. It's something that you have for yourself, um, even though we're sharing it in this kind of virtual way. I have a blanket, because I'm gonna cover myself up at some point. I have another blanket on top of my mat. It creates a comfiness for me. I have one bolster that I know I'm gonna use for a supported fish. You can use pillows, blocks, anything at home you have. I have another pillow from the Coterie that I'm gonna use for a supported sphinx, as well as my two blocks. Always tapping into the goddess of knowledge, Saraswati, I have my mala beads. I have my journal, which I've been using to record my daily sadhana in. And I love this journal. It's the philosopher's journal. And that's where my brain kind of connects. I picked up a leaf right in front of the studio. We're in North Carolina. It's November if you're watching this real time. So leaves are falling. The trees are letting things go. And I think that really is what this practice is for me today. Because I've been in a little battle, a little fight. I've had my armor on. I'm feeling really tight. I won. Yay, yay, yay. But winning is not always an easy thing. So today I think it is a day of letting go and resting. So please, gather what you might need. If you don't have any of these props, it's okay. All that you really need is you. So where should we begin? I'm gonna start in child's pose. Come onto your knees. And I think here's where I'll use pillow number one. You could part your knees, place the pillow in between your thighs. I like to rock, shift, and ever just land into what I'm gonna hold. You might rest your forehead. Maybe you place one ear on your surface. My arms just naturally relax so my shoulders can release. You might have a bend in your arms. Maybe your arms are your pillow. You could also extend your arms back, reach your hands back. Give it some more movement before you land into some stillness. So we can build a connection to breathing. It could be simply paying attention to your breath, like watching something on a screen, or watching the leaves fall slowly down to the ground. Take a breath in through your nose. Release the breath out of your mouth. A second time, breathe in. Breathe in just a little bit more. Open mouth. One more together, make it your fullest, your deepest. Sip in some more. Close your mouth if it's possible. And breathe through your nostrils. Please know you could always physically shift your child's pose. with the intention of 
letting go, releasing. Maybe allowing some of that armor to peel off. And be silent for about a minute. Sink into your breathing. That was a minute. We'll stay in child's pose a few more minutes. If you like a little wiggle, jiggle, sway your hips, roll through your ribs. Maybe adjust your pillow. I'm gonna change my arms. I'm stacking my forearms. And then I'll rest my forehead. Let go. It's natural for the mind to wander. I'm thinking about something that Ben said before we started recording. He said, take action and then let go. Take action and then let go. I'm trying to let go of the action of last week. It's accumulated and really started to stick to my back. I'm going to shift my child's pose and draw my knees together. That typically feels good on my back. I'll also reach my arms behind me for letting, further letting my shoulders go. I'm gonna be here for one more minute. I'm shifting my props. Always grateful that I can adjust.
Nice holding, nice breathing, nice releasing. You know you could stay longer if you want. I'm gonna push up into table. And extend one leg back at a time. Release my knees. You might notice my Sasha Mama socks, compression socks, I love them. I thought they were smiley faces. My husband called them clouds, so I like that even more. Then how about some cat cow? Undulate through your back. Inhale, cow pose, tilt your tailbone up, let your belly melt down. And here's where I really feel like I need to stay. So I'm gonna hold here and breathe here as you might decide to arch into cat on your next exhale. Exhale, now I'll shift into cat. Push your hands down, tuck your chin in, hug your thighs in. You could hold this a few breaths, just like we did cow. Just let your breathing guide the shape you're in. I'm going back to the inhale. And it feels like I got kicked in my ribs right here. So I'm just going to hang out. Like a leaf falling from the tree, you just let go. There was no effort, there was no struggle. Words by Sapphire Rose. Then I'm gonna take a little C shape, walk my hands and arms over to the right off of the mat. And I think about the C being created in my left side. Take an exhale and arch your back like cat. Squeeze your left glute just a bit. And then inhale, swivel back to center. Exhale, form the C shape in the opposite direction. Push your hands down and arch your back up like cat. Ooh, there it goes. Lean into your right hip. I feel it all in my right lat. Yes, 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 yes. I could stay here a little bit. If you're ready, inhale, come back to center. And then I'll set up for Sphinx pose. Here's where I'm gonna use my two blocks. I have them at the higher level. You might go a little bit lower. I'm gonna take the other pillow, which is a flatter pillow versus round. Well, I think that might be a little bit too high. <laughs> Let's put it on the medium level. No, that's the low level, medium, there we go. It's just like a little shelf. Then I'm gonna prop my forearms and elbows as I continue to breathe into my back. Without the props, your forearms and hands are on the ground. And start to melt your thighs down, your hips down. You might wiggle your pelvis down. This elevation is completely optional. You can even have your forearm stacked, your forehead down. You'd be in the crocodile position. Here I'm gonna read a little bit more from Sapphire Rose, a poet, a teacher, a speaker, and spiritual life coach. This is from a poem. It's called She Let Go. We'll make it universal though. Let's take a breath in. <sighs> Let go without a thought or word. 
let go. Let go of the fear. Let go of the judgments. Let go of the confluence of opinions swarming around your head. Let go of the committee of indecisions within you. Let go of all the right reasons, wholly and completely, without hesitation or worry. Just let go. Don't ask anyone for their advice. No need to read a book on how to let go. No need to research the scriptures. Just let go. Let go of all of the memories that have held you back. Let go of all of the anxiety that keeps you from moving forward. Let go of the planning and all the calculations about how to do it just right. You didn't promise to let go. You didn't journal about it. You didn't write the projected date in your day timer. You made no public announcement. You put no ad in the paper or on Instagram. You didn't check the weather report or read your daily horoscope. I'm a victim of that. You just let go. You didn't analyze whether you should let go. You didn't call your friends to discuss the matter. You didn't do a five-step treatment. No call to the prayer line. You didn't utter one word. You just let go. There was no around when it happened. There was no applause or congratulations. No one thanked you or praised you. No one noticed a thing. Like a leaf falling from a tree. You just let go. There was no effort. There was no struggle. It wasn't good and it wasn't bad. It was what it was, and it is just that. And in the space of letting go, you let it all be. A small smile on your face. A light breeze blew through you. And the sun and the moon shone forevermore. You let go. Now, I hope you let go of the pose if you felt you had enough. I could stay here a little bit longer. I'll be here for about another minute. Maybe you soak that poem in. Or you have a view like me of a window. You might see a tree. You might see the sky in its clarity. Or close your eyes. Find your internal window.
I really could stay a whole lot longer. But I'm going to be mindful of who might choose to watch this. To come out, I'm going to push my hands to the floor to lift myself up. No rush. And it might feel good to go right into child's pose. I'm going to go into down dog and then come into a standing forward fold. <sighs> Lengthen your back. Maybe soften your legs. Walk your feet towards the top of the mat. And then hang. I already have my prop set up from Sphinx pose. So I'm gonna allow my head to rest on the pillow. Maybe even my arms. I've chosen to take my feet a little bit wider. Be generous with the bend. And knowing that the key to life is right underneath the tip of your nose. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. I started with the props. I'm going to release them. I'll add a little shoulder stretch. And release your fingers behind your back. Pull your arms up and away from your back. Maybe you have a strap. Let go. You've done a good job. Let go. You've won the battle. Let go. You are welcome to stand up. I'm going to immediately go back down. Come to my knees. I'm just going to pause for a moment.
Breathe in. Breathe out. Supported fish is where I'll go next. Gather your props in case you prefer not to come back up to seated. I'm gonna prep this blanket that I know I'm gonna drape over me towards the end. If you've done supported fish before, gather the props that you like. If we don't have props today, recline butterfly. I could take this pillow, bring it behind me, sit in front of it and align my tailbone. I feel like I might need a little pillow for my head. So why don't I grab that other bolster. I'll situate that for my head support. Line your tailbone with your pillow or your block. I'm going to start to drape your upper back down, your head down. I think it's in the spot where I have this knot, so that's great. I feel like this second pillow might not be needed, but I do think I want blocks for my arms. It's kind of like arm benches for my shoulders, my forearms. And I'm gonna remove this second pillow. Ah, uh, okay. I have my legs wide, it just kind of fell this way. You might butterfly your legs, bring the soles of your feet to touch. We have some time here, so don't rush to find the setup. Ugh, I'm telling you that's the spot. So I'm gonna give myself some time to breathe in it. This will be our longest hold. Please, if you choose to come out sooner than me, you would roll to one side, come off of the props, and then maybe stay on your side for a bit before landing onto your spine. You're not stuck in this. Give yourself time to let being perfect go. Let go of being the chosen one, the noble one, the righteous one. Let go of being the peaceful warrior. Withdraw your eyes, close them. And I feel the need for a little breath control to keep my mind here. I'll count into a count of four and count out to four. Sometimes I might hold the breath in between. Other times I might not hold it. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Breathe out four, three, two, and one. Inhale one, two, 
three, four, exhale four, three, two, one, inhale one, two, three, four, exhale four, three, two, and one. I'll start to hold the breath. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Hold the breath. Exhale four, three, two, one. Hold your breath. Inhale one, two, three, four. Hold the breath. Exhale four, three, two, one. I'll now lengthen the exhale. Breathe in one, two, three, four. Choose if you hold it. Exhale five, four, three, two, and one. Inhale one, two, three, four, breathe out five, four, three, two, and one. I'll change the exhale to six. Inhale one, two, three, four, exhale six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last round to seven. Breathe in one, two, three, four. That's your inhale. Breathe out seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. I counted us almost halfway there. I'm gonna be silent from here. You could always shift your legs, your arms. Maybe release the bolster and lay on your back. If you're completely through with, that, with it before me, roll to either side and just curl up to soothe your back.
I'll be here one more minute. Maybe shift it some. I'm changing my arms. Guiding my breath to this knot that I'm feeling. But good job, Keisha. Not always easy to fight the good fight. But knowing someone, some of us have to be the light. Think about that choice to roll to your side. I have this longer pillow, so I'm gonna push into my feet lift my hips like bridge, and then start to scoot myself further on the pillow where my tailbone is supported. Oh yeah. That was a nice 10 minute hold. Oh yay. You're either on your back flat if you're playing around like me and have this longer bolster, I'm gonna take a block then to support my head. Draw your knees in towards your chest. Send your legs up to the ceiling. A few breaths. I'm gonna move my Sasha Mama ankles, <laughs> looking at these smiling clouds, smiling faces, reminding me of the goodness, the beauty, all the various spaces I get to engage in. Just like this daily sadhana community, The beauty is you could extend this practice longer. I'm gonna lower my feet. Again, I have this longer pillow. I'm gonna slide off of it to the left and then roll onto my right side and kind of hug the pillow. Ooh. You might land fully on your back. Last breath or two to relax, to let go. <sighs> Shavasana relaxation the pentacle pose. Oh, that blanket, yep, yep, yep. No, it's not my weighted blanket. I have that on my wish list. A traveling weighted blanket, amazing. I think five minutes. Well, let's see how we feel after this.
that's my little timer. Ben's waiting for me, or I could do a two hour nap for this. Do you wanna come up to seated? We could close that way. I've been committed to some rounds of alternate nostril breathing for my seasonal practices. If you do come up to seated, you sit in any way that creates lift and length in your back. Pattern expands it in your chest. Let your lungs be able to expand. I'll use my right hand, Vishnu Mudra, the maintainer. Bring your second and third fingers in. Slightly close off your right nostril with your right thumb. And we'll clear out through the left nostril. Breathe in through your left nostril. And then breathe out of your left nostril. We begin. Breathe in through left. Seal it off with your fourth finger. Breathe out through right. Release your thumb. Breathe in right. Close it off. Breathe out left. That counts as one round. Two more. Breathe in left. Close it off. Breathe out right. Inhale right. Close it off. Exhale left. Last one on your own. You know you're complete when you finish breathing out of your left nostril. Release Vishnu Mudra. Drop your chin down towards your chest. With gratitude. Danya Vada, I bring my hands to heart center. Om Shanti, 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 He, peace, peace, peace. One piece to the past. One piece to the present. One piece to whatever the future holds. Thank you much for joining me for Daily Sadhana. The reading, this is from The Language of Yin, an amazing book by Gabrielle Harris. You could also Google the poem, She Let Go. Maybe you go find yourself a leaf that's fallen and let it remind you that another scene's gonna come and will continue to grow. Until next time.